When performing an individual OSINT investigation, it is very common to find multiple profile pictures across their social media platforms. The problem is some of these pictures might be disguised with hats, sunglasses, or even masks, making it more difficult for you to match it to the target with confidence. Now, in a previous video, I have already covered a similar tool that can compare two pictures to check whether they are the same person. But in this video, I would like to show you a more powerful free tool that you can run locally that will compare multiple profile pictures at once. Because sometimes you might have some profile pictures that are unsharp or not clear and you are not sure whether this is the same person that is your target. So this is where this tool comes in handy. Now, without being said, let's get started. All right, so the tool that we are going to be using is called Deepface UI. I'm going to add the link to the description of this video. And we can see that it is a facial recognition tool that can extract faces and then verify some faces. So this is how it looks like. So you have a picture of a target, for example, and you would like to compare it with multiple pictures. And to install this tool, all you have to do is just type git clone and then the link of this tool. So let's open the terminal, for example, as root. And then I'm going to go to opt and then say get clone and then the link of the tool, which you will get from here. And then you can hit enter. In my case, I've already installed it. And once you install it, you need to run this command. And then if you are running Windows, then you can use these commands. And if you are using Mac or Linux, then you can use this command and then this command. And lastly, you can install the dependency by running this command. So after doing all of this, so I'm going to go to its directory and then run the tool. I'm going to say Python 3 and the tool is called deepfaceui.py and then I'm going to hit enter. So I need to activate my virtual environment first like this and then I can run the tool. And after you run the tool, then you need to go and visit this link. So it is the local IP address of the machine followed by the port which is 5000. So the person that we are looking for, let me minimize this, is this one. So we have this original picture and we want to investigate this person and compare this face with all of these faces. Now you can see that some of these faces are clear and some of them are not clear. So we can see that this one is not sharp, this one has sunglasses and this one as well. And we can see that all of them are like small images they are not even high quality and here we can see two faces so what i'm going to do is to upload the first picture to the investigation part so or this tab which is this one and after this i'm going to go to the database and right here i'm going to add all the faces that i found on posts pictures social media pl platforms etc so i'm going to upload and select all of these and then click on open and now all of these photos are going to up be uploaded to the database and afterwards we are going to investigate or compare the photo that we have added to the investigate tab and here we need to select a face for example which is the facial extraction feature that we have read before so we are looking for this person then say confirm and here all all the faces that we have found and one of these photos is not the person so I'm going to go to the analysis tab and from here I'm just going to leave the options like this and then click on one analysis and this is going to take some time. It depends on the CPU that you have. The better it is, the faster the search results are going to appear. So I'm going to click on run analysis and then wait until we get the final result. So now it's done. We can see that this person is the same person. And we can also see that this person is the, a different person. Now, let me tell you that this is actually the same person, but for some reason it didn't identify the features because the photo is not clear. So it was difficult to compare. And this is why it tells us that it is a different person. But we can also see that the similarity percentage is 27%, which is not like perfect, but it's good enough comparing to another picture, which is this one and this is actually a different person a completely different person and we can see that the difference between this one and this one is around 17 percent and this is why you cannot always 100 percent rely on these tools 
but I think that they are really helpful if you want to compare pictures and not upload them online and if you have multiple faces that you want to compare quickly. So all of these pictures are the same person ex except for this because this is an AI generated picture and this is also the same person but it is not clear the features aren't cl clear which was difficult for the tool to compare and this is why it tells us that it is a different person so we can see that the tool is not 100 percent accurate but i think it is much 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 better than any other tool especially that you can run it locally on your machine so this is how you can verify multiple pictures with one picture to check whether it's the same person it's very powerful if you are conducting an awesome investigation on an individual now another feature that this tool has which is the attribute and this will check the attribute of a picture like it will tell you it's a female and it's around 40 or 50 years old and whether it wears glasses or not now this might be helpful to approximately estimate the age of the person but for me any other information like whether it's a female or a male or whether they are wearing your sunglasses is are not important so this is why i don't rely on this uh, feature a lot so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new if you like the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel because this will help me grow the channel and make more awesome content so with that being said i'll see you soon